Using the move command, I can move objects specific distances, and I can use input like coordinates or object snaps uh, to do this with precision. I can activate my move command by choosing it from the tool panel, typing in its keyboard name move, or using its keyboard alias M from the keyboard. Uh, when I've activated move, it wants me to select objects. I'm going to select this circle. When I'm finished selecting objects, I hit enter to let AutoCAD know that I'm done. And it wants me to select a base point for the displacement. In this case, I'm going to use an object snap and snap to the center of this circle. And then it wants to know the second point of displacement. This is a point relative to my base point and gives it the distance and the angle uh, that I'm going to move. Now I could uh, stretch and click. It's prompting me for a relative polar input. So if I wanted to, to move two inches, for example at 90 degrees, I could enter that into my dynamic input box and I could hit enter. Because I have noun verb selection turned on, I can select the the object first and then select the command. I'm going to choose the center again as a base point and this time I'm going to look at my relative coordinates. I can enter these from the keyboard so if I wanted to move this circle from the center two on the X and two on the Y relative to its base point I could enter two and now enter a comma instead of the tab in order to enter the Y uh, coordinate value. With that, I hit enter, and I've moved that relative uh, using the coordinate entry. I can also use grips to first select the object, and then using my shortcut menu with the right click, I can choose move from the menu. Now it wants a base point. I can select that, and I can move the object. Now another method of moving the object is to use object snaps. So if I want to move this circle, for example, to the specific endpoint of this line, by using the object snap, I can do very precise movement. I can also use selection sets for moving groups of objects. So I could use, in this case, a window. I've selected all of these objects. I'm going to choose the move command use the object snap as this endpoint as a base point of displacement and then I can move the objects. Now some objects, like this circle for example, when I click and activate its grips, if I choose to activate the center grip, it acts as a base point and while I have activated a stretch command by default, the stretch command works like a move. I'm able to pick another point of displacement from that center point and it will move my circle. In looking at a line, I know that if I click and activate the grip on the end of the line, I can change its length by using the stretch. But if I choose the center, then I can use the stretch like a move command. And one thing you can do, once you have a base point selected, you can at any time right click and change the base point that you're using. So now I've changed the base point to be this bottom end point of the line. And now I can move uh, my line using that point of displacement. It, so on, on some of the, the objects, you can, uh, depending on which grip you choose to activate, it acts the same as a move command.